people, Ash here and welcome to Skydiving Tips and Tricks Part 2. Part 1, I showed you how to build your own skydiving deathmatch so that you can practice without losing all that money and all that time. Today, we're going to go through gliding. Quite a few people have asked how, how to do it. Some people have even suggested that it's fake, but I assure you it's not fake. Today I'm going to show you how how it works and there are quite a few visual cues that can help you along the way so we're going to go through some of those. And you'll notice she turned round there in the direction that I was facing the camera. Whenever you're ragdolling, whichever way you point your camera is the way that you're going to end up facing when you're going to skydive. You see the palms and the feet are important here. The palms are pointed straight down towards the ground when we're not touching the stick you're just going to fall straight down. But what happens when you push forward on your stick is those hands will start to gradually move back towards our sides and the palms will point back towards the camera. We're basically travelling across the map now. If you look at the radar down there. Um, the further forward you push the more you're going to dip and the more those palms are going to turn upwards and those feet are going to stretch out and eventually you get to the point where you're diving straight down and it's as simple as that you've got those two extremes from doing nothing at all and falling straight towards the ground to pushing right forward and diving headfirst straight down and the point you're looking for is the point in the middle where those palms are pointing back towards you yes showed you this last time as well, uh, map spawn, very very useful tool. Again, you push forward just that little bit, just so you can feel the resistance of the analog stick sort of pushing back towards your thumb. Not, not very much pressure at all. You're going to push until those palms pointed back towards you. And that's it, that's how you get the distance. Really, really easy. The more you get used to it, the more you'll get used to turning and finding your spots. I'm going to die. <laughs> it totally wasn't prepared for, prepared for that. The jet also is definitely uh, beneficial, even when you just launch out straight forward. You get that forward momentum by default. In fact, you, you get a little bit of upward momentum when you first, when you first eject, so that can also help you get used to where you need to position that analog stick to keep it going. Ooh, ooh, can we? I'm gonna end it there. That's how you glide, people. Give it a go. Do let us know if there's anything uh, specific that you want to know about the videos, things I've done before. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope it helped.